Tonight, the Belmont apartment complex in Metairie just sold to a local buyer after our Fox 8 Defenders reports exposed the living conditions of residents. The religious nonprofit that owned the complex was stripped of its tax exempt status in March after our stories prompted a change to the state constitution, allowing local leaders to hold the nonprofit accountable. Tonight, we're speaking exclusively to the new owner of the complex. They had really good people in our apartments. They just want livable places and some of them really wanted to be there, just couldn't afford to go anywhere else. So we figured we can make a difference there. A Jefferson Parish resident Ahmad Hamden promises to make things better for the tenants of the Belmont Apartments. We're going to take and renovate each building and make them livable again. Hamden is one of the founders of Brothers Food Mart and he currently owns a number of apartment complexes in Jefferson and Orleans parishes. I live in the parish. So I don't want anybody else doing anything wrong in my neighborhood. So I'm going to do exactly what would I want for my family to have. And I really want to make the neighborhood much better than what it is. Thursday afternoon, Hamden finalized his multi-million dollar purchase of the 291 unit site from a religious nonprofit from Tennessee, Global Ministries Foundation, also known as Ministry Outreach Foundation. For over a year and a half, We've detailed the struggles of Belmont tenants. I have really bad termites in my room. Those are termites? Yes, those are termites. I went two years without an air condition. We got the right dookie up in the, can't cook, and do nothing. We've also told you about tenants' complaints at the two other complexes owned by the nonprofit, the Willows in New Orleans East and Park Fontaine in Algiers. Our stories prompted the passage of a constitutional amendment last fall, allowing local leaders to force the nonprofit and its CEO, Reverend Richard Hamlet, to pay taxes on its properties. In March, the Jefferson Parish Council voted unanimously to utilize the law change. Councilwoman Arita Bohannon led the charge. I think the nonprofit is selling this property because it's going to be forced to pay taxes, but also because it was clear that that was the first step in what was going to happen to them ultimately. Bohannon says after she toured the complex with us in January, just weeks after being sworn in. That guy can't fight for himself, you know, so anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. She took immediate action and the parish was within days of tearing it down. How did we let this get this far? So if you guys hadn't been so insistent on shedding the light on it, who knows how long it would have gone on. Is it frustrating at all that he won't be held accountable as far as having to finally pay taxes on this site? Mm -hmm. You know, honestly, the lawyer part of my brain wants to see this man brought to justice. I want to see this pretend nonprofit brought to justice. Um, but ultimately what's best for the people who live in, in the Belmont and who have been made to suffer is that it ends. Bohannon says she's spoken extensively with Hamden and believes he will do the right thing. We know the remodel is going to begin immediately. We know that he intends to move as quickly and swiftly as possible, being very conscious that there's still people living there. Hamden says there's a lot to fix. You have roof problems, plumbing problems, ACs, boilers, just everything. He'll relocate tenants into better units on site while he works to clean up the property. For Rita Bohannon, who says she can relate to the plight of so many of the Belmont tenants. I grew up, you know, I grew up poor and um, I've lived in apartments like that. Helping to hold the nonprofit accountable just four months on the job as a councilwoman and ultimately resulting in the sale of the property, she says this is a big day. Hamden thinks he can get most of the complex renovated in about a year. We reached out to Reverend Richard Hamlet for comment on the sale of the Belmont. He never responded.